Briskin is here in the room, and we continue to service his um, request for public records. I handed him a flash drive today with 3,000 photo files from 2007. Um, as you know, he's asked for photos, all the photos from Amnesty International for a seven year period. So I presented him today with the first installment. We are trying to satisfy his um, voluminous request for information in the midst of everything else that we've got going. Um, I'm actually glad that you could sit here and hear how much we have going today, Adrian, so you understand um, that we are in good faith trying to respond to your requests with everything else that we have on our plates. Um, so just wanted to keep you posted that we are diligently um, responding to that. And the second thing that we're really excited about and we really want to um, encourage you to consider this possibility of trying to take a contingent of board members up to IDA. Uh, it's the International Downtown Association Conference. It's going to be in San Francisco this year. So it's just a plane ride away. And would love it if we could, you know, get a small group of board members to actually go this year. It's always um, so inspiring, uh, you know, the, the trends that are happening in downtowns all across America and in Canada. Yeah. And, and September 30th. September 30th through October 2nd. Um, one of our board members actually owns a hotel up there, <laughs> but maybe we can. Uh, but um, <laughs> hold those dates, and we'll get you information. But. This, this, we've always talked about doing a field trip, and this might actually be the opportunity for us to come together on something like that. Um, we are going to have Dixon Slingerland here today. He's the executive director of the Youth Policy Institute, which is overseeing the whole Promise Neighborhood Promise Zone initiative uh, here in LA, and he is going to come to next month's meeting. Joe has been um, trying to stay up uh, to speed with fast-moving developments in, in the, some of the planning and um, grant preparations you're doing for Hollywood. Is there anything you want to share in that? Show? Yeah, just I'll be really quick because I could go on for a while, but just uh, we have the charrette was back in February 12th, I believe, that they held that I invited the board to. Unfortunately, nobody from the business community uh, showed up or even from the residential side other than it was uh, primarily seniors who had went, so a lot of the data was skewed. They had a report back meeting this week that I attended, um, just sharing the results from the design charrette. And again, this is uh, this these, uh, this input will be put into this report given to HUD that will ultimately decide whether or not this um, choice neighborhood uh, portion of Hollywood will get a $30 million grant to build affordable housing and then supportive kind of streetscape elements to, to help build and foster community is what HUD's doing with this money. So. Um, the data was very skewed um, because, like I said, it was Matthew and I were the only ones that attended, I think, outside of the seniors who lived in that senior housing complex where they had it, and then some others uh, neighboring that building there. So what we are doing is I've actually reached out to McCormick Baron Salazar, who's helping run this portion and will help uh, write the grant with YPI, who's, who's heading this effort with, along with the mayor's office. Um, and I've reached out to McCormick Baron Salazar and asked him if we can have a separate kind of design meeting with our boards um, and see if we can put something together so that you can also give input to this report. Because as of right now, um, the data that they got was very skewed. Um, for one, they they think that the LADOT dash bus is the greatest bus on the planet. They think it's that the only bus that's the, the uh, only bus that's driven around Hollywood based on the data that they've gotten because nobody rides the metro or the subway. Um, nobody walks on Hollywood Boulevard. We don't have any grocery stores. Um, we don't have, you know, it's just, it was very skewed. So we need to start to bring some other perspective to this report and also give some input because some of the things that they're, they're proposing are mobility elements that are even in line with some of the things that we're hoping to do in certain parts of our district and $30 million is a lot of money. So um, I think we should also have a say into how that kind of gets put in place in, in ways that do support the build and build up this community that we're trying to. So, um, like I said, I'll just stay tuned. I'm gonna send you an email whenever we can kind of confirm where we can A, have this meeting, and B, when it's gonna be. So I'll, I'll keep you posted on that. But I'm happy to answer questions afterwards, or if you ever wanna email me, the problem zone is a, it's very convoluted, uh, it's, it's, it's complicated. So I'm still learning it. So I'll do the best I can to explain it. But as Carrie said, Dixon will be here hopefully next month, and he will do a far better job than I will because he's the next executive director of IPI. So.
That's it. Thank you. Um, and do you have any answers? Yes. You want an answer? You want an answer? Um, well, we, we thought it was anticipated, but when we're sitting here, um, Carrie and I got an email from um, Drew, who resigned his position on the board because he said his property was so fair to the board. Um, he had a very nice letter about the board. Um, and so we do have a vacancy. <coughs> we do have um, an opening for the position of treasurer. And my fellow finance committee members aren't here, but that doesn't matter. Anybody that would like to consider that position, you know, would <laughs> so anyway, you guys can think about it. Um, and that's it. It's not effective immediately. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a quick yeah. ask. Yeah. So um, he said that it was a um, a woman who's a music. Uh, she's a, a singer songwriter and very successful. Um, Tell me her name, and I'm just on that. Very good um, person to have on Kalinda. Great. Yeah, great. So, we are adjourned. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.